Hello and welcome to part 14. So last we got off, last time we left off, I had escaped from the prison, and I am now in the sewers. So I gotta keep heading due north. Um, I'm not a fan of this part. Like, I mean, it's... Alright. It's just not the funnest. It's kind of just tedious in a way. You just crawl north and you gotta keep crawling through tunnels. There's little to no nothing in the way of hazards. It's just kind of go north. out the dogs because they're the only hazard here. They can hurt Snake. But not too much. Now a lot of people I've seen play this game avoid this room. Oh. thought that was a room. Never mind. <laughs> Just sworn it was. Anyways, here's another cutscene. I've been waiting for this. Nobody interfere. This is where it ends. Sad. 
so sad. A host of sorrows. And you are one of them. I am the sorrow. Like you, I too am filled with sadness. This world is one of sadness. Battle brings death. Death brings sorrow. The living may not hear them. Their voices may fall upon deaf ears. But make no mistake. The dead are not silent. Now you will know the sorrow of those whose lives you have ended. So the thing I like about that cutscene that just passed in the sewers with Ocelot is that's a definite reference to the fugitive. Also, this is a good chance to see if I have accidentally killed any guards. Because every person you've killed in this game will be in this river. Since I've... Ah, uh, yeah, I think... Yeah, that guy counted as a death. That's the guy who fell off the bridge, most likely. Ah. Uh, I got at least one kill. That's a shame. Yeah, the more enemies you've killed in the game, the more there'll be in this river. And it actually is... It does make it, I'd say, more difficult, but you don't. You just have to keep walking forward. But the ghosts can deal damage. Um, yeah, <laughs> when I first played this game back in my early teens, I had to reset this fight numerous this encounter several times. Uh, because I didn't know it or use the revive pill at the end. <laughs> um, there is a shortcut in this. You just have to go underwater and stay there and you can die and you can take the revival pill then. But I like just walking through this river. You'll notice my health has gone down a little bit. It's that green ectoplasm or whatever. Every time a ghost touches you, um, deals a little bit of damage each. I'll show you that green stuff there. Damage. You. Wow, I'm surprised the Soro hasn't shot out his jump scares. At all. Huh. I remember. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, no. Huh. I've never seen him not shoot. His jumps. Yeah, he didn't shoot at once. That is a first. Maybe it's because I killed so few guys. So yeah, here I just kept wondering what the hell was happening. I didn't think to press any of the buttons. Yeah, you just gotta take the revival pill and... That's how you win. Boss. I can't. Shoot me. You want to finish your mission, don't you? Then, you'll have 
to shoot me. The spirit of the warrior will always be with you. Don't be sad. We'll meet again someday. Snake, are you all right? That was a close call. What the hell happened to me? You were halfway drowned at the bottom of the river. Almost crossed over to the other side. Other side? So that really was... Something on your mind, Snake? Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yes, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What kind of man was he? The Sorrow was a man with... Well, special powers. He had ESP, which was the subject of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. In other words, he could talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? I don't know the details. Why don't we ask Sigin? Yo! I finished checking up on this Sorrow guy a while ago. Thought you guys already knew, though. Knew what? That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Selino Yarsk. You know, those cliffs you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss? Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Selino Yarsk. That's when she met the Sorrow, who'd gone back to the Soviet Union after the Cobras broke up at the end of the war. Except this time they were enemies. And then what? The boss killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. At least, that's what the records say. So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. You okay, Snake? Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for me to die yet. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole mission is shot. We're counting on you, pal. Roger that. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you all right? Yeah. I took a pretty freaky detour. What are you talking about? Nothing. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. But how did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? You're out of control. Yeah. I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. What do you mean, that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. A waterfall, huh? Right. Behind that waterfall, there's a cave. We'll meet in there. The cave behind the waterfall upstream. Got it. See you there. So yeah, I actually like this part. Um, it's just peaceful. <laughs> ah, it gets up. That was a poison mushroom. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't eat. Uh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't eat. 
mushrooms in the forest if you don't know what they are. Like, even if you have a mushroom guidebook with you, it's still a good idea not to eat the mushrooms. Unless you are well trained in identifying poison and edible mushrooms apart. Like, mushrooms are amongst some of the most poisonous things to humans. And Snake there just. Well, I made him do it, thinking it was just a regular mushroom. Just eat a mushroom without thinking. We got food poisoning. Yeah, this entire area here is very peaceful. I guess you could view it as like the calm before the storm. Because after this part of the game, there's obviously at any time there's no going back. But after this point, there is no going back. After this, you're going back to Groznygrad. And it's the end game. Nice to meet you, Snake. I'm Tatiana. Here's your equipment. Eva, you could use a towel. So could you. Sorry about that, folks. I had uh, left the room thinking I'd have more time in this cutscene. I forgot that it makes you save there. Um, also, that's too quiet. There we go. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't too long. Want some? No, thanks. <clears throat> Don't like snakes? Not for dinner. Mm. Didn't you have to eat them at the KGB? 
In my training, we always got the good stuff. French, Italian, that kind of thing. A regular Matahari. The least you could do is call me Cynthia. Tell me something. How does it feel to spy on your own country? I can't say it feels good, but it's my job. Can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? I wouldn't mind eating you. When this mission's over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? Let's see. How about sushi? Sushi? It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Supposedly, it's made from raw fish. Raw fish? Just the place for my survival techniques. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Snake. What a I'll be your eyes from now on. I'm searching and I'm melting to you. <laughs> what a fear in my heart. But you're so supreme. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Are you all right? It's not like I can't see. I've got one good eye and can still fire a gun. Really? Good. Eva. Didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. It can be molded into any shape, like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Is that right? Yeah, but there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. Well, what do you think? The Shagohad's booster unit uses liquid fuel. The fuel tanks are in the main wing of the weapons lab in the hangar housing the Shagohad itself. So I should blow up the tanks. That's the basic idea. It should be enough to blow up the entire hangar. There are four fuel tanks. In order to destroy the hangar, you'll have to set explosives on each of those tanks. All four of them? It should be no sweat for you. Besides, the scientists had the day off today. So the hangar's completely deserted? Not quite. They've still got guards posted there. Mm, so what do I do after I set the C3? The bombs run off a timer. Once the timer has been set, the countdown will begin. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will all go off at once. How long do I have? 20 minutes. Once the phase two trials are finished, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill all the scientists to prevent them from talking. So you've got to act fast. I'll take care of it. Eva, did you get the data on the Shagohod from Sokolov? Yeah. That's the mission I was given. By Khrushchev? Mm-hmm. America doesn't have any use for it, does it? Huh. But I haven't forgotten my other mission, either. Helping you out. <laughs> Follow this cave and go up the ladder at the end. You'll come out inside Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab.
Do you remember when you went to rescue Sokolov? Remember there was a locked door when you entered the main wing from the second floor of the east wing? Yeah. That's the entrance to the Shagohad's hangar. Use this key to open that door. The door right when I entered the main wing? Got it. What about you? I'll get things ready for our escape. There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. The Colonel still trusts me. And I have my ways. There's not a man alive who can resist my charms. Uh, Besides you, of course. I'm just warning you, Eva. That's all. I know. Okay, let's go. You seem like you were born on one of those. <laughs> if I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain of having to be someone else. It's not easy always fooling myself like this. It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Huh. Okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Huh? Oh, this? It's a button camera. What did you do that for? Insurance. To make sure you don't double-cross me. So, I got the C3, I got all my equipment back, I don't believe you get a bomb in your equipment at that point, let's just make sure, okay, I'm pretty sure it does, you don't, but, okay, we're all good, so, let's re-equip the items I think I'll need. And so I don't forget, I'm just gonna equip the C3 now. Don't need the cigar. Never use that. I try not to use that unless it's absolutely necessary. Uh, let's get the motion detector. Thermals. And I never use it, but I am entering a building again. Also, just because I'm probably running low on food, let's do that. Stun grenade all the rat, all the bats. Oh, I got a rat too. Fair enough. Oh, uh, as I was saying earlier, I, there's one animal I want to catch for a later part. Okay, so I guess when you get captured, you lose all your live captures. Fair enough. Also, I'm not going to bother wasting a suppressor on this. Let's just collect a frog. I like frogs. Frogs are good people. Of course, I am also afraid of frogs. It's kind of a catch-22, really. I like them, but I'm afraid of them. Uh, I think that, yeah, I'm 99% sure that's how I want to go out, but I want to make sure I got everything. Yeah, there's nothing I need. 
so I'm gonna get into Grasnigrad and I'm calling that a part. So yeah, uh, next time I'll be going back through Grasnigrad, this time with even higher... Snake got here in just the nick of time. Um, but yeah, as I said, this is the end of part 14. Uh, next time I'm infiltrating Grasnigrad. Saving the game, Snake? Again, if you like what you saw, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And as always, be excellent to each other. Have a good day.